tip for you. Um, right, you might have seen online where you can you can buy uh, springs for your gun to make your trigger uh, slightly lighter. So you know, oh, like, like, oh, nice light trigger. Now, what people don't seem to think about is actually just modding the existing springs to make the trigger lighter, which is something we did here. To take out the trigger spring, very simple. Lift, push, and out it comes. Simple as that. Okay, it's that simple. The uh, the Crossman grip housings are very simple when it comes to, uh, as you can see there, it just sits underneath there nicely when you pull the trigger. You push it like that, it's simple. But anyway, so, what I've done on my spring, there's two ways of doing it really. I cut one link off. You can cut off more, it's, it's up to you if you know, it depends on the, uh, it's a try and error process, but obviously if you break it, it's not my problem. Um, you can also squash the links together with a pair of pliers, which is another suggestion I've heard of my brother, and stick it back in and it does exactly the same sort of thing. Um, once you've obviously cut it down to a length you like, you literally just put it back on, like this, and then you just pull the trigger, spring down, and then pop it in like that, and you will find a nice light trigger spring. Uh, one thing to note as well with the light trigger spring, you've got to be careful because it's very easy to pull the trigger. Um, don't point it at someone you like, you know, because you may end up shooting them by mistake. Always use the safety button. Because uh, I found recently that my gun goes off a lot lot easier, but it does improve shooting because it makes you want to take less time for you to pull the trigger so you don't get that chance to move before pulling, you know. So it's pretty good, pretty cheap, and you don't have to spend any money to do that. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. Bye.